1051 FM. City 1051 FM. City 1051. Young John right there features the crew. Talking about Tiwi Savage and Kiss Daniel on the track as well. Now, if you're going to uh, feature two people on the track, it doesn't get any better than Tiwi Savage and Kiss Daniel, yeah? Yeah, bro. That's like a perfect combination. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, Young John in the building. How you doing, fam? Good to I'm have you in the bro. studio. I'm glad to be here. You know, the traffic. It's crazy, yeah? Yeah, but I'm glad to be here, you know. Okay, so talk to us. Uh, like I always ask every artist in the studio, how has 2019 been for Young John so far? Well, bro, 2019 has been has been great. Okay. You know, I can't even lie. You know, we started the year with um the Forky Challenge by Kiss Daniel. Okay. You know, then kept on going strong through um with Kiss Daniel, Maya Kuhn, then Hello Baby, then Mark Ford, then you know the year has actually been exciting. You know what I'm saying? So okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so. Um, basically, 2019, musically, yeah, we all know how it can be for producers. Sometimes it can be very overwhelming, especially the industry. I mean, I feel like producers are at, at a better place than five years ago, for example. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely. none more so than you. Now, now you've like been, you've seen the best in the industry for like four years now. How can you say you've grown so far? Well, well, um, I remember my my first uh, mainstream song was. Uh, in 2014 that was like five years yeah that's five years now yeah. yeah 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 so like so far i can tell you that um it's, it's getting better you know that's, okay that's like that's what i always say, tell people it always gets better like it gas it must always get better so, so where we are right now in the industry yeah are you saying can you say producers are getting the recognition that they deserve well, so far, like I said, it's better than it used to be. Okay. I know it's, it could be better. But uh, like, uh, could be I, I'm coming from the position whereby it could be better. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I won't lie. Yeah, it could be better, trust me. But like at the end of the day, you know, like there are some producers that are like doing their thing and making a name for themselves. You understand? Like SARS, you know, putting out his own music. Yeah. You understand? At the end of the day, I think it just boils down to putting out your own content. Putting content. out your own content. Yeah, content is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like... You know, producers just got to like step it up, I yeah. guess. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what it is. Do you feel like producers are taking a lot more seriously when they have uh, songs of their own, when they have their own tracks? I mean, it, you could produce for an artist, but it's, yeah. a, it's a different ball game when you own the song. Yeah, Do you definitely. feel like you're taking a lot more seriously when you have more tracks that you that you own? Well, I really, you know, like people feel different way about different things. Me personally, I'm at the point where I just want to put out my own song. I feel that's what. I want to do right now own my own songs own my own content you know okay. sell my own like it's not like song. you're not going to produce for anybody again no I, i'm still producing you know okay. like his annual snail song was um, co-produced by me and Kublon. you understand yeah it's more songs coming out you know what i'm saying yeah. so that's what it is bro okay can you say uh um you have a very healthy relationship working relationship with kiss daniel because you've been on like uh close to like what like over six tracks now or about yeah, six yeah, yeah. me and kiss daniel we have um chemistry you know yeah yeah he's one of the artists that when we walk i like enjoy i enjoy the process and i enjoy the outcome you, you enjoy the process and the outcome yeah he's a yeah. nice guy, <laughs> he's, he's a guy. <laughs> because fam like we i i have different <laughs> people here and i ask producers especially because yeah. i'm really curious yeah. nobody is going to tell you the attitude or the level of patience an artist has than a producer because they see these people when they're creating something so yeah, when you yeah. see people when they're creating something you tend to have a very very good yeah, opinion yeah, 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 about yeah. the kind of pr people they are yes yes so you know on, on normal day on like Chris Daniel is it like he's talented you know he's a, he's a brilliant guy like normally so like the process of creation like to him is like doesn't stress doesn't have to stress because he can even do most of these things himself. He can even record himself. He can record himself. Yeah. Okay. So we just be there and just vibe and just you know. Yeah. That's it. And it's like fun. It's fun. It actually, like it makes it fun. Is it the yeah. best you've worked with? Well, I can't say there's the best I've worked with. Everybody they come have their. On, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Honestly, I'm not being political or anything. Okay. But like everybody, they have their own vibe. They have their mm. own. You okay. understand their own different vibe. You understand so. Yeah, because um, a lot of people would be like, okay. Uh, early young john it was ybnl yeah, back yeah. in the day yeah. then you graduated so it was the kiss daniel and now we're seeing the independent young john yeah is this leading up to something a lot better well bro you know like i i t was telling someone earlier today you know like when you're in the journey you just keep going just keep going just keep going yeah whatever it is whatever it turns out to be is whatever it, that's what it is yeah you understand so i'm you understand i'm i'm it's not like i i'm, I'm trying to be you understand you, I'm just mo it's just a journey you understand I still work with Olamide I still have a lot of songs I've recorded with Olamide I still have a lot that of songs yet to drop yeah you know understand Kesh last single was produced by me you understand mm -hmm. so basically it's just me 
putting out my own content. It's nothing, you understand? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, you have a song called Mama Yo. Yo. And when you listen to, okay, uh, you and I were having this discussion off the mic. Yeah. yeah, when you listen to a producer and you're like, oh, Young John, Mama Yo, a brand new track. The first question that comes into the average person's mind is, featuring yeah, track. featuring who? You were the only one on this track. Yeah, yeah. How much, how tasking was this for you, first off? Well, I always, I always record songs on the normal. Like, okay. But I never really put, put them out like that since until last year. Okay. And this year, I've been doing like collaborations, collaboration. Last year, I dropped the jam to like, that was just, so I was like, okay, I don't do collabo. Like, I still have some songs that I, I've collab collaborated with people and I'm still going to drop. I'm like, okay, but this time around, I think this point, this month, after Hello Baby, Mark yeah. 4, I want to drop my own Because jam. there's like a myth that producers can do it all on their own. Yeah. Yeah. some can't let's be honest some can't some don't have interest in recording yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, refreshing yeah, to definitely. see that you do yeah yeah I, I do I do bro and that's that's one of it I just decided to put it out and you know okay more more coming bro so we talked about um you mentioned different people in the, in, in the industry um yeah. production has evolved like over yeah. the years over the last 15 years yeah. you mentioned uh SARS but like it's been happening since Don Jazzy it's been yeah, happening yeah, yeah. since like you could, ca- you could call a lot of people um, OJB yeah. as well, the late OJB yeah. Jazz Road. So, how, who can you really say inspires you to be better at what you do well, in uh, Nigeria? Well, in Nigeria, I would say it is a collective thing because um, sometimes I look at the likes of uh, Don Jazzy, you know, the stars, the ones that have been there, Mastercraft, you know, and I feel really inspired by the way they scale through the behind the scene kind of production thing to like you know what i'm saying yeah and at the same time i also look at the new names popping popping new school and see, yeah, yeah and see what they are doing with the sound and everything so like it's a two-way thing you understand I'm yeah i just grab from whoever i can grab with and add to my own moral my own vi- you understand your I own just, vibe yeah yeah and just okay um one more thing producers in nigeria yeah yeah because like i heard this from someone don't worry i'm not gonna tell you okay. Do they like themselves? Is there is there a good working relationship with every producer in Nigeria? Well, it's not. You don't. You don't have to be political. You yeah, can no, say. Yeah, no, no, I'm not being political. It's not even. It's not just about being. Um, it's not even just about production and music. In every industry, there's always a sense of competition. We do. I don't know why, but it's normal. That's life. That's just our okay. life. It's not nobody. Because there's this thing of. This is oh, if Young John is producing for Whiskey now, and Whiskey goes ahead to. Uh, meet somebody that Young Joe doesn't like to produce the next mm-hmm. track after Whiskey promised me that I was going to re- I was going to produce yeah. the song. I'm, I just like me does that kick in sometimes? Me, me personally, me personally, I don't put things to art. Okay. Nobody. Me personally, but definitely I'm sure there are some people that will feel concerned about this because we are all human. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely, there are some people that will feel hurt by some this and that, this and that. But I've tried my best to like channel my mind to like a whole different like. Like a whole different like vibe. I, yeah, like John Cena vibes. <laughs> you say John, you can't see them. <laughs> okay, so um, before we uh, go play Mama Yo, any plans before the end of 2019? I mean, we're in November already. Uh, December is pretty much around the corner. Do you have any plans? Are you going to surprise us with a body of work? Uh, you know, like, um, the year has been great. I can't even like love songs, you know what I'm saying? But like... I still think like I still want to drop more music before the end of the year. Just more music before the yeah, end. Yeah, more music. Nothing Just more. More music. But <laughs> next year we'll, s- we'll see how it goes. Okay. We're gonna drop something, you know. Definitely. Something. Okay, so I'm gonna play you "Mama Yo" by Young John. One zero five one FM. Yeah. What does it take for you to have that, like that recognition? Y- y- you you can see things coming as a creative that you are. Okay. Yeah. Not everybody is going to have that recognition. Not everybody is going to reach that level. Yeah, yeah. What does it take for you to reach that level, in your personal opinion? Bro, honestly, I'm not God, though. Okay. I just feel like some years back, nobody really accepted Bonner, you know. A lot of people yeah, we know. Uh, bro, so bro, like, somebody said something, yeah, in the tweets. Somebody said, those who are tweeting at you now. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Uh, you understand. So, like, you never can tell. It could be that guy that nobody even, you understand. You, bro, you never can tell, honestly. So okay. I'm not even, I don't even know. But there has to be a certain level of creativity and hard work to it as well. Yeah, obviously you have to work hard to 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 do good at almost anything. Normal, you have to work hard. Like I don't think anybody needs to be told to pop alone. You need to work hard. So to get to that level, 
you definitely need to work hard. But at the same time, not everybody will get there. And the few people that get there, bro, you can't add to me, in my opinion, I don't really think you can point and tell me that this person I know see because this guy is bad gone see bro it could happen, it could be that guy you don't even expect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Okay. Everybody well, just as long as you believe in your craft, you just keep pushing. You know understand as long as you believe in your craft. Yeah. That's all I can say, bro. Okay. So you said you're not gonna drop an album this year. Mm. Definitely not. Next year? Maybe. Let's let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So uh you have a song, uh you made a collaboration with DJ Worldwide and uh, King Boodoos as well. You wanna yeah. talk to us about DJ Worldwide? I've been hearing a couple of things about him, but like Yeah, yeah. So like um Worldwide is family to me, you know what I'm saying? Like we grew up together, like we actually grew up together, we came to Lagos together and everything. You know, so like um Bulldozer is also my guy, my guy's guy, you understand? So like it's just this song is we just coming together, creating music, you understand? Yeah. Moving on, like just everybody let's just do this, you know what I'm saying? Since everybody obviously has what it takes, you know, just all it takes is just that self belief for you to believe yourself. Somebody to be- and so someone to believe yeah, in you as well. You understand? So as long as you believe yourself, you believe people around you, why not? Yeah. You know, you, you you just set up for the for the next question. Who believed in young John? Um, who believed in young John? There has to be one person that comes to mind. Because uh, there's it, there's a difference. A lot of people feel like Olamide believed in Young John. Yeah, he did. He did give you a platform. Let's be honest. Definitely. But yeah. like, are there people that we don't know? At first, I would say first of all, um, I I think at for I think first of all, I had to believe in myself first. You understand? Coming all the way like down, like I had to believe. I just had to believe in myself first of all that I could do this make it you work. can pull this off and th- all of that could not be possible without um, um one of my big bros i call him bt bt he, yeah he's the one that had um the studio i used to be back in um then you understand the factory he was the ceo of x factory that was where i met olamide you understand okay i was there for like years it was you know taking care of boys put boys in the studio you understand that's where i was for a while before i met olamide then olamide also like played like one of the biggest yeah, talk to us ever. about that because, like, at that point, I wasn't creating any major songs, you know. I also have to give props to Sexy Steel, too, honestly. Because Sexy before, Steel, yeah, yeah. Because before that period, I was quite close with him, and he, like, in the always let me know, say, ah, you did, you did try, you know. I used to work with him and all of that, you know, give you that belief, I, yeah. And J1 too, yeah. But then I started working with Bado, and Bado's level of belief was like up there, it made Next me believe level. that, bro, forget you bad, like, you can't do this, you understand, you can't take this to the next level and then it's, it believed in me enough to like work with me and then trust me with big projects you understand yeah because that Plus, that period you you were with cash yeah you were with olamide it was it was a big deal bro you understand so like bro i really really have, you understand like it played a big role then that's that's basically for the two you know okay where do you um individually now where yeah. do you see yourself in five years in five years by the grace of God, you know, I want to like be like way, 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 way bigger than where I am today. You know, okay. you know, I can I can say that I thank God for the growth so far. You know, the growth yeah. has been really, really dope. You know, but like in five years from now, hopefully, you understand next level P. You understand a, a couple five, of projects. Yeah, five down. five years is like is it's a lot of time for big things to happen now. Yeah, yeah so definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean. W- your first uh, work, 2014, that was five yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, five, you know, so like uh, five years, I believe in five years, everything major should have happened, you know what I'm saying? Like okay. So speaking of growth, uh, we've seen Nigerian artists, they've gotten to the level where they, they are now making music for people outside Nigeria because yeah. everybody knows the sound. Everybody wants to mess with Nigerian music, whether yeah. you like it or not, in, in one way or the other. Yeah. Is there a plan cons- as concerns, you know, working with people outside the country? Well, definitely, um, I've kind of received some kind of request to work with some people. From who? You know, nah, I'm not Come on, man. Uh, management is not here, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's management here. <yeah. laughs> but, like, even around um, 2015, I did a couple of stuff with Tipping, uh, that, um, this Whatever I Want remix with Classics. I think I heard that before. Yeah, it was yeah. Classics. Classics okay. is, like, um, an American DJ. Okay. So band an american band dj you know so like they wanted me to like remix the song with tipin yeah you know but even that's in the past you understand okay. we're talking now, about the now yeah we're talking about it now trust me there's a couple of stuff coming out 
soon you mm. understand that okay understand can that. you just give us one name J- this guy just one name no i really don't want to give out. why I have my are you shy <laughs> <laughs> this guy. i have my reasons for not giving that name you understand? Yeah. okay yeah all right so 2019 i like exclusive you, you, you want to surprise people basically you okay it's, it's all good so 2019 over already um you said you might drop a few hits before yeah. the year runs out yeah, yeah, okay definitely. so all right all right so let's go play the song right now monster dj worldwide young john and king bulldozer you want to tell anybody uh, about the song before we play it monster um is about is the is a love story yeah the guy i think i picked girl. up on that yeah i listened yeah. to the song yeah the girl you know the girl's looking sweet but at the same time she's the monster but you're in love with this monster because this monster is in love with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So wait, she, wait, she's a monster, but she's in love yeah, with you. Yeah, well, the monster really talk. Maybe all those, um, Lord of the Rings monster. Which kind of <laughs> song? One more guy. Guess what kind of girls? I know what I give you. <laughs> it's fine, Sha. It's all good. 1051 FM.